you scared of sneaky links out? Yeah, it's scared of my sneaky links or whatever. So you about to go take a shower, right? I did like a little quick clean. I don't need to take a shower right now. You see what time it is? It's late. I need to go to sleep. Like, go to sleep. Oh, okay. Dirty. Girl, you always in here trying to tell somebody what to do. It's late. I did a quick clean. I will be okay until later on in the morning. Like I said, dirty. I don't feel like it. I, I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like taking a shower right now. I don't feel like it. I, I feel like I'm going to sleep. You don't have to explain it to me. I know that I'm going to sleep clean and showered. <sighs> Fine. I will go take a shower. That's what I thought. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shireen. So in today's video, I am doing my post sneaky link shower routine and I want to show y'all what I got. I got this African net sponge. I ditched the loofah finally after I came to the conclusion that it was just unsanitary and I mean, yeah, you're supposed to change it out every two months so that it can be somewhat sanitary still, but I just decided I might as well just use something that is actually sanitary. So I got the African neck sponge and girl, let me tell you, this thing is amazing. First of all, it's super exfoliating. So if you don't have exfoliator, just go ahead and use this rag because you can feel it like exfoliating your skin. It feels like sugar scrub in a rag, basically. And you see how big it is? Like I can scrub all of my bag. Usually I struggle to get to my bag, but not with this thing. One of my favorite YouTubers, EC, put me onto this, which is why I went out and I bought it because like if she's using it, I know it's good. Oh, there I go again, trying to be cute and take a thumbnail while I'm recording. Girl, have a seat. By the way, the body wash that I'm using is from Bath & Body Works. It's called Winter Candy Apple. I showed you guys, but I didn't talk about it. It smells exactly like a winter candy apple. It smells like a frosted apple. Not that I know what that smells like, but I'm just assuming. So for body scrub today, we're using the one and only raw sugar scrub. Ooh, I gotta take in my daily dose of crack. <sighs> yeah, that thing smells so good. Listen, if any of you guys have been watching my videos for a hot minute, you know this is my favorite body scrub. I just talked about it in my last video, which if you haven't watched that, go watch it. Um, it just leaves my skin feeling so soft. Go to Target today after this video, go to Target and buy it. Buy it and thank me later. So as some of you may know, I use Dr. Bronner's for my lady parts and whatnot, right? Somebody has been drowning themselves in my Dr. Bronner's soap. And I want to believe it's my little brother because I only use a single drop of this thing. And it's like gone. I just bought it like two weeks ago. Okay, so I'm just going to use the end of the rag and just clean behind my ears. If you watch my last video, once again, you know how I feel about washing behind your ears. It's something serious. Here, I'm just using the water pressure to clean my ears. I do this sometimes, not all the time, but if you don't have Q-tips, this is a great way to clean your ears. So you really don't have an excuse. You know, this clip kind of makes me laugh a little bit because I usually don't show myself getting out the shower and I don't know why. Like, why don't you show yourself getting out of the shower? You literally just transition into oral hygiene. For my toothpaste today, I'm using my Colgate Optic White my favorite go-to toothpaste i will never unless i find something better which i doubt ever go back to another toothpaste because this made my teeth go from butter to white in a short amount of time too so i refuse to ever switch back we don't want any doo-doo nuggets on our toothbrush so we're gonna cover that thing as promised i finally 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 ran out of that neutrogena and i got a new face wash this one's by Pacifica, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Like, it's just a cleanser, and that's all that it does, is cleanse. I figured while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and exfoliate with my Dermalogica Powder Exfoliant. And guess what I'm using for facial moisturizer? Pons. hard time choosing what lotion I wanted to use today maybe if I would only just buy one I wouldn't have such a hard time but I decided to go ahead and use this coconut water by Bath and Body Works it smells amazing simply amazing and it makes your skin super soft it lasts for a long time too like 
it's a little later in the day and I can still smell it. To moisturize, I'm just using this Coco Radiant Body Oil by Vaseline. Um, I've noticed that whenever I use this sometimes, it's a little, I won't say that I'm greasy or anything because it does absorb pretty quick, but it can be just a little bit too much. I came up with a new technique and I just like rub some of the oil in my hand and pat the body parts where I want it at. That way when I rub it in, it won't be so much. For deodorant, obviously I'm using this one by Native. It's the coconut and vanilla one. I use this literally all the time, it's my favorite. And I got a new one so I'm lit. For my fragrance today, I really wanted to smell like vanilla, so I grabbed my mundane perfume. It has like a nice vanilla and woody type of scent to it. It's really, really pretty. So I decided to wear that today. I already kind of got it going on with like the coconut and the vanilla deodorant, so I might as well add to it, right? Right. And last but not least, I have to moisturize these crusty, dusty lips. So I'm using my Dionys Goat Milk Vanilla Bean Lip Balm, and that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on Wednesday.